So today we're going to make a pinhole camera. You're going to need a few items to get this done with. I chose a beer can. 16 ounce, nice large beer can, so it'll accommodate your paper that's five by seven inches. Everything you see in this video, aside from the beer can and myself, will be in the description so that you can link to it and buy the things off Amazon if you like, or just go to your store and get it. The photo paper, you're probably gonna have to get off Amazon. So, my can, I used a regular can opener like you would for your vegetables. Spun it around, pulled the top off nice and clean. That's perfect. Then I cut out the bottom of another can. The reason I did that is because they're gonna have to go together like this and create a seal once we get our paper inside. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a needle or a push pin, something very tiny, and poke a hole as much dead center as you can. Just the teeniest little hole, boop, pinhole camera. Once you have the little hole punched inside your can, you're gonna to wanna to get the film out and uh, put it in the can. Now, this is a pinhole camera. The film is slow exposure. Over the course of time, the light's gonna create the image. I'm under a lot of bright light right now, and I don't want to open up my film in this bright light. But I do have a smart bulb. A lot of people have them in their homes these days, and you can change the color to any color you like. I chose it to be red. With the red bulb, that'll be the least amount of light as possible that won't expose the film, but allow me to see what I'm doing. So let's get to it. Now I have my can ready, and I know where the pinhole is. I'm gonna set my can with the pinhole facing towards me. I'm going to open up my film and I'm gonna grab one piece of film out of the package. Now, the film, one side of it's kind of slick and the other side's more paper-like, okay? The slick side is the exposure side. So I'm gonna pull it out, curve it, and stick it inside my can. Now when I put it in there, I want to make sure that when the paper opens up, my pinhole will be able to see through the paper and go into the can. The 16 ounce can works out great for that. It's perfect for a five and a half by seven sheet of photo paper. Now that the photo paper's in there and it's rounded out on the inside of the can, I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to place it over the top. to be nice and snug. Then I'm gonna take my duct tape. I got some all weather duct tape. I do suggest using duct tape. It'll handle the weather and you won't have to worry about it. So I'm going to seal my lid to the rest of the can, but I don't wanna cover up my pinhole with this tape anyway. Because now I'm gonna take a small piece of tape and cover up my pinhole with it. And that's your pinhole camera. The little piece of tape will cover the film so no light's exposed until you get it mounted where you want to mount it. And then you can peel this little part off and let the exposure begin. And that's how you do it. Now, I'm going to be making three of these things. So let's go ahead and make those while we're at it. And there we go. Three prepped and ready to use pinhole cameras. I can turn the regular light back on. So I'm gonna set my camera here and this camera is gonna be facing east. If I just put the camera up there flush with the house, it's gonna get pictures of my neighboring houses. So I grabbed a piece of mulch out of my flower bed here and I'm gonna put it behind it so it kind of angles it up a little bit and hopefully it'll give me a better shot of the sun as it's going across. Now I didn't wanna put it on there so tight that it crushes the can. I just want to hold it up, okay? Now I can take off the little tape and let the exposure begin. Now again, I've found something I'm putting behind it to give it an angle. I have a lot of trees here and I want it pointing more towards the sky. Now if it's really pointed upwards. We'll see what happens with the exposure and that's part of the fun. You'll find out in about a month if you decide to wait a month, or you can find out in a year if you decide to wait a year. 
This one's facing west, and the directions it's facing will not have an obstruction like a house or a tree like the others do. So I'm not going to put anything to angle it. I'm going to make it flush against the gutter here, and then we'll mount it that way and see what it comes out. Now, if you don't want beer cans taped on the side of your house, you can always spray paint the cans first, then punch the hole, and then put the can together. Don't spray paint it afterwards, because if you do, you'll clog the hole, and you'll get no picture. Well, there you have it. Pinhole camera set up and ready to go. I'm going to let them sit for one month. We'll see what happens. We'll put another piece of little tape on top of it to cover the hole, and then we'll develop it, and we'll get to see what we caught on film. So if you like what you watch, you learned anything, or you want to share it with somebody, please do so. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.